day is the day many have been looking forward to, and that would be Election Day. Here in Greenwood, South Carolina, at the American Legion Post Office, that happens to be a voting facility for the people of Greenwood. Other facilities have a very long line, and it's taken a numerous amount of hours for people to get in and to vote. Now, even though we are voting for a presidential candidate today, we can't forget about those local officials that we'll be voting for as well. Stay tuned with me on more on the story. Remarried here in Greer, South Carolina on the intersection of South Main Street and Chandler Road where a lodging truck appears to be falling on its side causing damage in a building that is falling on top of. Now we've noticed that there are three to four other cars that have damage to them that were involved in this wreck as well. Officials haven't told us much but we do have an interview with the lieutenant later who will give us more details. For more on the story make sure you stay tuned with us on air and online. The Salvation Army continues to extend a helping hand as winter temperatures continue to decline in the Greenville area by offering those that don't have any shelter a warm place to stay. The Law Enforcement Torch Run has partnered with the Special Olympics for their Don't Shave December fundraiser. Now this is where police officers pay $25 not to shave for the entire month of December. And with this being their very first year, they've raised well over. $10,000. The city of Greenville can expect some major changes in their local GSP airport. Starting April 15th, Southwest Airlines will now offer direct flights to Atlanta and other cities. Now this is something Southwest never offered before. The GSP airport is trying to shake things up. Starting with Southwest Airlines, who has decided to offer direct flights to Atlanta and other cities. It seems the change is to create some competition with Delta Airlines. I think it's great news for passengers. It may take a little getting used to at first to understand how the process works, but there are a number of cities that will be opened up via the Southwest network, via that travel from GSP to Atlanta. By Southwest offering these direct flights, it will allow Greenville persons to take flights to Atlanta and then further their travel to any other national area the airline offers. Now it is unknown if Southwest Airlines will lower their prices to get more people to purchase flights, but it is known that the people of GSP are excited for the change. Bree Merritt, Fox Carolina. Bree Merritt here in Greenville County at a possible death investigation here on Cavalier Road. Now we did receive the police call that said there could be a possible death over here in this area, but we are not for sure. At the moment, we're waiting for officials to come out to brief us to let us know exactly what's going on. And as we get the information, we'll give it to you. Make sure you stay tuned with us on the web and online. With the Christmas holiday approaching, Country Santa and his helpers are laying out the bags of gifts that they prepared for children in need. Now this is the 39th year of them preparing gifts for the children. They don't plan on stopping anytime soon. In 1977, Buddy, formerly known as Country Santa, and his wife Nell came up with the concept of giving children in need the best Christmas by delivering toys to them on Christmas Day. They started by asking local churches, schools, and banks for donations and their time to volunteer. Nell says when they moved to Pumpkin Town, she saw such a need in the area. That sometimes you just don't know how desperately people need and walking into homes that had dirt pools and seeing the poverty. We realize this is such a great need, we want to do it. 39 years later, Country Santa and his team are in full effect. With people constantly donating toys throughout the year, they have more than enough for each child. With a toy house, a toy storage room, and hundreds of helpers, Santa and his crew are sure to deliver over 7,500 bags of gifts on Christmas. It's just what we do. and. We care about kids, we care about the people in this county. With an organized list, and Santa checking it once and checking it twice, homes will certainly be filled with joy on Christmas Day. Bree Merritt, Fox Carolina News. With ice on Main coming to an early close, it's your last chance to grab those skates and hit the ice. With unpredictable weather conditions here in the upstate, the committee says it's just becoming a challenge to keep that ice in the rink from melting.